Yo, Nick. Oh, hey. Hey, any word on your product video this week? Oh, well, we've only got a few products this week, and uh, well, Rob's out of town, and videographer Greg, he's out of town, and <sighs> it's Friday. We can't not do a product post. Well, yeah, but who's gonna film it? Wait a second. I have an idea. Follow me. Hey, Trevor. Hey, hey I have a question about the TPS reports. What is that over there? Oh, it was nothing. Forget it. Um, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'll ask again later. Okay, Dave. Everything's in there. Aw, oh, yeah. This is your Friday, Friday new product post. The first product we're going to talk about is the Tilt-A-Whirl Breakout. This is a breakout board for the RPI 1031 tilt sensor. Uh, this tilt sensor we released a while ago and the first thing that everyone wanted was a breakout board because it's such a small sensor, but it's very useful. The difference between a tilt sensor and say a gyro is that a gyro will actually give you the angle at which something's being tilted. The tilt sensor will basically tell you yes it's tilted or no it's not, and this particular sensor will tell you whether it's tilted in any of four directions, left, right, forward, or backward. So it should make it easy to uh, what the? Cut, cut, cut. Everything is broken out to standard 0.1 inch headers, so it's easy to connect to any of your projects and it's breadboard friendly, so uh, hopefully that'll make the sensor a lot easier to use in uh, whichever project it is that you need tilt sensing in. No, yeah, the narwhal bacon's at midnight. Action! Uh, hold on, I gotta go. So, Schottky diode. The other thing we want to talk about is the Schottky diode. C2 dio take four, cut. We have these in stock now. Uh, the great thing about Schottky diodes, as opposed to any other kind of diode, is that they have a very low forward voltage drop and they also have a very quick recovery time. What makes the Schottky diodes great is that they have a very low... V Get that out of frame. Do we even need that? We carry these because they are the recommended diode to use with our L298N full bridge motor driver. And these are really great diodes to use in motor driving applications because of their quick recovery time. Hey Nick. Oh hey. Hey, how'd the video wrap up go? Oh well. Oh shoot, we never did the wrap up. Ah. Oh.